All right guys, so working on getting these seats out and I completely forgot that this driver's side is all automatic. So I got the ground wire and hot wire hooked back up temporarily. I'm hoping this is gonna work, but I'm just gonna connect the hot to the hot side. Again, I hope that this works. Cause if it does, we got some good luck going. Well, here's some beeping. Let's see if we can get this seat up. Oh shit! <laughs> That's what I'm talking about, Playboy. This fucking seat weighs like 100 pounds at least. At least 100 pounds. Oh my God. Whew. I don't think I've ever took the, the all power ones out before, but damn, that son of a bitch is heavy. But yeah, so we got the complete interior. Well, we got the front seats out, which is pretty much all we need to take out. This thing is filthy. As you can see, here's a better look at what we're dealing with here. It's just a complete mess inside. Hopefully we can get Raheem in here and he can uh, straighten it up some, but that's not what we're worried about today. We gotta try to, we gotta try to get this center console bagged out so that we can get the stuff we need to take off of the shifter box to swap the cables out. I'm gonna go ahead and try to see if I can get everything exposed and I guess I'll just kind of go over what I did to get to it um, once we're there. Yeah, so see what I'm talking about? There's just no room to get to it. They made the black piece come out, which you just saw, but then it's like, they still put all of this fucking plastic in the way. And see, maybe if this was hollow and you took the black piece out, it would, um, you know, you could access it a little better, but because they did it like that, we're probably gonna have to just take this whole center console out. But, uh, yeah, I would say, I want to say with my trap, I ended up just cutting, I just cut like along this side and along that side and I took this whole center section out and um, that allows you to be able to reach what you got to get because you got to get to those, um, well, it's supposed to be clips, but this is again, some kind of custom shit. So you're supposed to be able to get, get to those, but probably be easier if we just take this whole thing out anyway and it doesn't look like it has really any of the bolts up front and the ones in the back i mean the whole unit moving so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and get this thing pulled out and um we should be able to see better what we got to get done there we go boys got full on access to this bad boy and um all together i want to say there's supposed to be two screws on each side up here which i didn't have but it's not that bad. It was literally one, two right there. And then there's like two on this side and two on the other side, but I don't even see what that connects to right here. So I don't know why they were there, but it looks like there could have been two right here that weren't in there as well. So yeah, I don't know, but like a bit of broken glass in there. That's cool. Always oh, cool finding broken glass. But yeah, so now we got full access to these weird looking cables. And I just gotta figure out how, I guess this is tightened in with this bolt here. Same thing for this side. So 
I'm gonna just go ahead and loosen those up. But you can see where the problem was coming in with this shifter right here. So this thing is way too high because the shifter is supposed to come farther this way to the driver. And you can see where that's hitting it right there. So that was having the shifter, like when you go to fifth, it was like literally laying in the passenger side, which is definitely not how it's supposed to sit. So I don't think anything's messed up as far as the box goes. So that's a good thing. Um, we should be golden with just pulling these cables out. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to get these out and then I'll show you what the uh, stock ones are supposed to go back like. I'm not gonna lie though, looking at this design, this looks to be really cool. I like this over the, the uh, clips that the old one has, but these cables definitely um, are not gonna work. It's not going far enough forward. Yeah, so let's get these cables took out and uh, show you what the stock ones look like. here grab a set of pliers and then we got a 10 mil bolt there it wasn't tight okay. Let's see if we can push that in pop it out Push that one in. Oh, pop it out. And this should just go out through the floor. Like that. And we should be able to just pull them right on out. Just like that. Once we get these in, you'll see, but it's something with these stoppers that was interfering really bad. I mean, it's got an adjustable link here that you can change the length of it and stuff. I mean, but I'm not gonna lie to where well, they modified it. This is the stop one. Yep. They just cut a hole in it. Never mind. So I just gotta do the same thing with these two that I did to get those out the inside. So I'm gonna grab my 19 mil wrench. Okay, yeah, not too bad. But with these, you need a C-clip, or I'm not sure the exact term, but you need one of these, which I kept the ones from the junkyard just in case that this thing had something weird like that going on. And really it's just three total, two go under the hood, one goes in the car, and then the other end inside the car actually twists in with a black like a uh, like quick connect thing. So this right here, it's kind of like taking the place of the C-clip on this side and you just twist it and it'll lock itself into place. So yeah, let's go ahead and see if we can get these routed back in and that'll be done. Okay boys, we got functional shift cables now. And you can tell, well you probably can't tell, but I might go find that old clip I had when I, before I took it apart, but you can tell, like, imagine the knob being up here posed, but you can tell now, like, 
that's about neutral and then you'll go over here to go to first which is pointing more toward the driver and then fifth will be kind of the same angle but just on the passenger side and see neutral will be just about straight up which is exactly what you want gang so now we got all of that hooked back up on the inside the grommet is in in case anybody's wondering it does have a grommet back and um this plastic thing it twists in and locks. I guess that's just something they did with the CG models. They added that. But like CB, CB7 to, I want to say all the way up to 97. Because when I did Keisha, it didn't have this either. It just had the C-clip like that on both sides. So, yeah, they just added this for 98. But, yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. I'll show you the outside. And here's the outside. Look, guys, we got the cables all hooked up ready to go keep those tucked out of the way before we get ready to stick the engine back in All right, guys, so we got the trans separated from the engine. Uh, now all I gotta do is swap over this clutch and stuff, and uh, we should be ready to pick the new transmission, stick it back on there, that engine. And um, yeah, man, we just, man, we're making good progress, guys. We're making really good progress. I think what I'm gonna do is try to get this uh clutch swapped out and then i'm gonna try to get the new transmission on to the motor i already took the old header off just in case it was a little stubborn i didn't want to have to fight it in the car but uh i may throw that piece back on just that little piece of header back on uh, just so we can do a test drive because i don't think by the time i get ready to do the first drive i'm pretty sure i'm not gonna have the cat back yet so uh Main thing I want to do though is drive it down the road. I want to make sure it shifts through the gears. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and try to get this old clutch took off. We'll pull out the new clutch, new flywheel, and uh, slap that on and get this transmission put on. So I know in the last clip, I said that we were gonna go ahead and get this trans put on and stuff, but guys, I'm gonna be real, this, this rear main seal is, it's really wet and I'm not, I'm not gonna throw it back together like this. Uh, so I'm gonna have to call this video here. This car has a bunch of little weird things done to it. I guess like people try to fix or I don't know, like patch issues they were having or something, but yeah, so I'm taking off the pressure plate and I get to one boat and it and it's just like it's a whole different boat. But yeah, 
I almost like got that stuck in there. So yeah, that's that. Um, I do think I have a few extra 12 points laying around somewhere. So I'm gonna look to see if I can find those. But yeah, that was pretty close. So we got those, we got all the, the uh, flywheel bolts. And um, yeah, so we need that rear main seal. And then something else I think I'm gonna do, I think I'm gonna reuse this pressure plate because this one um, should be perfectly fine. This clutch was cooked. So, I mean, look at it. That thing is smooth and it should have grooves in it. So this clutch was definitely cooked. I mean, it was working um, the little bit I drove it, but it was definitely cooked. But I'm gonna use that pressure plate because this clutch kit that they bought, they had it so long and I guess moisture got in here. And this, this pressure plate is fucked. Like I definitely don't wanna mess with it. But the um, throw out bearing looks to be good. The clutch looks good. The flywheel did have one little spot, but I did uh, I did sand that down to with uh, the uh, steel wool, and that cleaned up pretty good. So, just gonna use that, this clutch, and the pressure plate from the old clutch. I think that should work fine. But yeah, aside from that, this thing is coming together really well. Um, like I said, next video we'll go ahead and get the trans put back on and get that thing in the car. May even try to get it started all in the next vlog. And then uh, from there, you know, by the time you guys, so I'm, I'm recording this stuff ahead of time, but by the time y'all see all of that stuff, hopefully I'll be ordered everything else that I need as far as like getting this thing drivable. And uh, we can do the fresh drive, make sure it's shifting good and um, just go from there guys. So. Yeah, I hope y'all enjoying this content on the CG. If you are, make sure you smack the like button for me. And uh, remember, we're on the road to 20K. So any new subscribers I can gain, tell your friends, tell your homies. Y'all all subscribe, man. Let's get to 20K. That being said, hope y'all enjoyed it. I will catch y'all next time. Remember, respect all bills. Peace out.